Hello, welcome back to Youth Therapy. I'm Michelle. This video is going to be addressing six things you may want to do different if you are experiencing depression. This is not a cure-all for depression, but there are some things that you could change that will be a reminder to you that you do have agency and that things can be different. And these are um, maybe not easy things to do, but they're simple things to do. The first thing is that depression steals our energy. It feels like a boulder is sitting on our body, right? So what can you do right now that will um, start some movement happening? So movement can feel just overwhelming, even just walking to the bathroom or to get a drink of water for some people is overwhelming. So let's start small if that's where you are. So this is, movement is about a little more than you are doing. So if you're moving around kind of okay, let's increase that a little bit with a brisk walk. If you can't really get up off the couch, then let's um, switch that up with tiny movements. So just moving your fingers, something a little different than you have been doing. Swirling your wrists, and if you're willing, even just doing that with me. Can you reach up towards the ceiling? Maybe stretch. Whatever you can do, even if it's small, even if it's just a little bit, with your legs or your arms or your shoulders. Experiment with what is possible, even though it feels a like a heavy weight is on you. Prove to your mind and body that you can move out of that static place. So movement is a big one that I would encourage you to incorporate into your day as much as you can and to give yourself credit for it. Oftentimes people will discount a little bit more movement and say, well, everyone does that. It doesn't matter what everybody supposedly does. What matters is, are you taking an action that's a little bit different that could help you feel a little bit better. The second thing um, to focus on when you're depressed is what's happening with your rest and sleep. Depression can wreak havoc with sleep. And I do have another video about sleep, but there's a lot of information on the internet about sleep hygiene, sleep protocols. And I would encourage you to put uh, a priority for sleep way up at the top of your list because when we don't get enough rest, restorative sleep, we just can't feel well. We can't feel like ourselves. And let's not put a lot of pressure on sleep at the same time, but I would like to encourage you to um, really take sleep very seriously as a way to feel better and to lighten the depression. The third thing is thinking about your screen time. When we're on the screens, ironic, I'm speaking to you through a screen, there's a lot of good that can come to us through our screens. We, I don't even have to go and make a list. We all know there's a lot of good and fun things that can happen. But we, uh, most of us have a bad habit of using screens. We're not using our screens mindfully. We're not making them maybe work in our best interest. We're using them kind of just as a habit, as a reaction to being bored. So <clears throat> screens can be used as an avoidance. Oftentimes it's avoidance of our life in general, an avoidance of feeling, the feelings that come when the screen is off and we're kind of alone with our thoughts and feelings. And avoidance, even though we don't want to feel those uncomfortable feelings, avoidance tends to make depression, anxiety, worse. So using screens a lot, um, not as an intentional distraction, but as an avoidance, really can make our depression worse. Another thing screens do is they keep us sedentary. And when we're sedentary, we just can't feel well. Our bodies want to move. And so 
remember that screens most of the time are keeping you from what your body wants to do to be to feel good and third screens keeping keep us from connecting socially yeah there's a type of connection that we get through our um, interactions online and we can meet people that we never would have met before and that's wonderful but we need in-person interactions we need that energy and that back and forth in person with people we are just um, we're social animals and being on a screen keeps us from creating those social bonds that we need to feel good to show that we have things to offer and other people have things to offer us that we belong in the world the real world so reducing your screen time being strict about how you use it, using it mindfully, without judging yourself, without being unkind to yourself, may help you feel a little bit better. Uh, the fourth thing that I would invite you to think about doing is not believing your irrational thoughts. Depression comes with so many irrational thoughts. And irrational thinking, I do have a video on 10 forms of uh, twisted thinking, and on CBT, uh, irrational thoughts, we all do them, but when we are doing them without um, questioning them, without looking at them, without stopping them, we just fuel our resentment, we fuel our despair, and we already feel bad, so let's not fuel that. I would invite you to, I'll probably, I'll try to put some links in the comment, um, not in the comment section, in the box below. But I would encourage you to um, do any research you can on CBT, get the good fe uh, feeling good book, and look at what irrational thoughts might be fueling your depression. If we can challenge some of those, maybe you can feel a little bit better. And in, once we kind of start on the roll of feeling better, um, we can keep going. Fourth thing is looking at the goals that you have. I see a, a lot of people who tell, you know, tell me goals that are really, really high goals, um, intense, wonderful, fantastic goals that I would never want to talk you out of because it's, it, it's exciting, we need to have our passions, but sometimes when we're just barely getting through day to day, if our, our goal for being an okay person in the world is is way up here then we're only going to feel bad about ourselves so look at what goals are kind of around you right now what are you telling yourself you need to be achieving and let's bring them down for now i'm not saying forget about those but let's take small steps toward where you'd like to be and what could you do today toward some goal that has meaning for you and meaning for you i would like it to start out with taking care of yourself feeling better and so let's not uh, wait for the motivation to achieve this huge goal let's think of something that is small and doable today it could be brushing your teeth. It could be um, looking at classes that you might want to take. Whatever it is for you, what is possible today? And, and let's leave that those huge goals um, to be worked up to. The sixth thing that I you know, is in the category of irrational thoughts, but I want to give it its own category because it's a, it's a big one. And it's the idea that everybody else is happy but me. Everyone else kind of has it together and is, in, is it, and is sane except for me. Um, I should feel happy all the time. And if I don't, if I'm having a bad day, a bad week, there's something wrong with me. And this idea of happiness all the time being normal I think really has caused a lot of uh, depression in our country because we believe that 
we should feel that way all the time. Everyone else feels that all the time. And that's not true. That's not real life. All the feelings, all the experiences of human life are natural. And we don't want to be depressed all the time, but to expect ourselves to be happy all the time and then start to worry and spin and call ourselves names if we're not just makes us feel awful. So think about what you may be doing, because we all have our favorites, um, that is an expectation you have of yourself that actually is not helping you at all, that's actually making you feel worse. And all of these things, all the things in this list kind of can sustain each other. So we start to do more of one, and then we start to do more of the other. And um, for bad or for, for good, so I would you know, encourage you to think about this, whole, this list as a whole and seeing how much you can incorporate into your life. Depression really steals our energy. Depre depression lies to us. Um, it steals our life force. And it, help, it makes us forget who we are. Um, it makes us forget what we have to offer. And when we follow those beliefs, when we follow the instinct, to isolate, to not move, we only feed our depression. So starting some movement, getting more and better rest, reducing screen time, challenging irrational thoughts, looking at goals is one small step at a time. That's what has value, each step and understanding that happiness isn't all the time and everybody around you isn't happy all the time and remembering that, remembering that the full feelings of life are what is normal. I wish you well on this path and if you have things that you have changed up that have has helped you ease your depression, I would certainly love to see you share that in the comments with other people who are struggling with a ver this very painful issue. I appreciate your time today. Be well.